Welcome to the Q&A session. First of all, I'd like to thank you all for sending in all your questions. And I'd like you to know that my team and I were able to answer all the questions, even though we're only selecting three a week for our Q&A session. Now, all these three guys that I've selected here will receive a gift from the Up Global Consulting. And of course, you guys have to come to my office to claim your gift though. Now, let's talk about the first question here. It is from Mr. Robert Ng from Epo. And here's the question. I was told that the open shelves in my bedroom is a form of sachi, but I can't remove my shelves. What can I do? Well, here's your answer, Robert. First thing, open shelves are not a form of sachi. Look at the library, they're filled with open shelves. And I'm sure these people are still doing all right. Certainly somewhere in your house, there'll be some shelves, right? You cannot be living in a place where there is absolutely no shelves, then you have no sachi. This thing is a wide misconception. It's all right to have shelves in your house. And the second question for this week, it is from a Madam Wong from Penang. Thank you for sending me your questions. Here is her question. My neighbor's pond is on the right hand side of my main door. I heard that this will make my husband have an affair. I am worried. Please help. Now, this is a popular misconception in the practice of feng shui. Many people think that having water on the right hand side will cause the husband to have a roving eye. This is absolutely not true. It is part of the superstitious housewives taboos that we have in ancient days. Water on the left or the right also can cause that problem if at first you have a problem. But most of the time, water is a, a type of um, source that we say collect the energies in the, in the environment. It is used to stimulate certain type of energies. All you have to do is first calculate what type of energy map you have in the house. Most of the time, it will not be a problem. Only in exceptional cases where there is, for example, a, a number four romance star and you have water on the right hand side, then it might stim stimulate some of these problems. But don't worry. Most of the time, it is the fear that causes you to lose trust in your husband. So, here's the answer to your question. Thank you very much. And the third question of this week comes from a Mrs. Lim from Ampang. And here's a question. I read that to conceive successfully, I must get a young boy, preferably born in the year of the dragon, to roll over my bed to infuse yang chi. Is this true? This is definitely not true. Do you think feng shui is some sort of a ritual or something? It has nothing to do with that young boy or someone born in the year of the dragon. Rolling over a bed is not going to cause any net positive chi for you. Most important thing is where are you locating your bed? And what direction are you sleeping in? This is what we consider in Feng Shui, not getting someone to roll over your bed with, with the energies and so forth. What you have to do first is, as we talked about in earlier this program, you must first calculate your personal Hua to find your Yan Yan direction, sleep in that direction, have your stove for example face that direction or choose a room that has a door facing that direction. These things will help you better than getting a boy rolling over your bed. That's all the time we have for this week for these questions and Mrs. Lim, Robert Ng and Madam Wong, you guys can come to my office to claim your gifts. Um, I have books ready for you, signed and uh, you guys can come to my office to claim your gifts this week. And uh, for those of you who want to get your questions answered, please remember to send them to this address. Here is it on the screen right now. And um, all these questions will be answered by myself and my team and we will select three next week to be discussed in this session again. So thank you very much for tuning in. How time flies, we are now at the end of our episode again this week. Let's just recap what we did today. We talked about your personal life, Gua, how you can fine tune your feng shui. This is under the eight mansion systems. You can review this episode by logging into the website and look at the notes again and how you can superimpose your feng shui chart over your house. So here's what I want you to do. First of all, you must get a compass and you gotta get a house plan ready. And I want you to download the notes for next week in my website, joeyyap.com. Click on the next episode and download your notes. So I will see you here again, same time, same day next week in Discover Feng Shui with Joey Yap.